YouTube and welcome to lesson six of the uh, Autodesk Maya tutorial series. So today what we're going to do is we are going to look at how to add in pictures and make pic picture frames and actually import pictures onto Maya uh, to use for basic texturing. So how do we do it is like, uh, let's just grab a plane just like that. All right. So I want to add a picture over here. Uh, so that's how we start texturing in Maya. So in order uh, to import picture, what I first have to do is, let's say I want to uh, take this picture, it's in JPEG format. I'm just gonna put this inside my TutorTube folder. So inside where I actually made my TutorTube uh, 3D animation project, I want to keep the picture inside of source images because that is where I have to keep all the images that I'm going to use for my animation. So I'm gonna close this right here. Just like that, I'm gonna go to Maya and now I'm going to add in picture onto this layer right here. So in order for me to do that, I have to go to file, uh, set project, all right? So select the project that I actually made from the project window onto my previous lesson, all right? That is important in order for, uh, for me to uh, use texture for my picture. So let's click set. So I want the picture to be here. So I'm gonna go on to a shiny material. Let's add in a Lambert for this, which is a non shiny material. And inside the color, instead of choosing here, so I'm just gonna go over here in the checkerboard section, just like this. On the checkerboard section, you can see that there are a lot of options, just choose file. And once you choose file, you get the folder right here. Just click on the folder. And if you don't see the folder, just scroll the, uh, the, scroll, the scroll bar up and down, you'll see the folder eventually. So go to the folder, and then in the source images, you can see image files. All right, so I cannot see my JPZ file. Okay, it's just got loaded. Select the JPZ file that you want and press open. And there you go, there's the JPZ file. Oh wait, it's not there. It's because like four is the wireframe mode, five is the shaded mode and six is the texturing mode. Just like that and you can see that my picture is there. But my picture is actually not showing uh, to its full. It's actually cropped out. So what I want to do is in the UV section, just like that, what I want to do is and make sure that I do the uh, normalize, all right? And once I normalize, the full picture actually shows just like that. So I can scale this out and you can see that my whole picture is right there. So if you want to create photo frames, then it is actually possible. So let's just create a quick photo frame just like that too for the picture, all right? So let's just uh, drag this out just like this and drag this up just like this. Drag this down to the bottom uh, let's just go over to the object mode, drag this down to the bottom, just like that. All right, there you go. Drag this on to the side and then insert S loop over here, over here, over here, and over here on this section. Okay, there you go. So grab the vertices, drag the vertices over to the side. Let's just go vertices over here, vertices, vertices. Okay, there you go, vertices. Let's just grab the vertices on, onto the side. Let's just drag this on to the right, just like that. And then to the face, um, I'm gonna drag this a bit down over here. I'm gonna extrude this down. So extrude, uh, wait, not that. Okay, let's just grab the picture. Picture, just uh, bring it to the top. There you go, on the face over here, I'm just gonna extrude this down. So extrude this down just like that. All right, there you go. So insert as loop at the side. So insert as loop over here onto the side, just like that. All right, over here onto the side, onto the bottom as well. Okay, onto the bot, onto the side is done. Onto the bottom as well, like this. Yes, onto the side, just like that. All right, there you go. Onto the side over here as well, just like that, and press three. Onto the bottom, just like that, and on the top just like this just click on this all right just click on the side there you go at the top there you go and then onto the side just like this okay so there you go that's my photo frame just like that but uh, I'm gonna add in a texture so let's add in a uh, blend texture on this let's me just take the uh, wood texture over here so there's my wood texture let's grab this down just like that okay so that's my photo frame and then I'm gonna delete this out Drag this out, let's just combine this. So let's go to mess and combine, drag this out to the top and then rotate it out just like this. And then I want a photo stand, let me just rotate this out even for, let's add in a photo stand right here at the end. So over here, let's just grab, insert as loop tool, insert as loop just like this, insert as loop, 
okay it's not inserting the s loop because i'm not in the object mode let's go for one all right so insert s loop okay so i want the photo stand to appear from right over here actually so let's go just go over here uh go over here just like that press face and select just that out and then extrude just like that extrude this down over here on this section let's just rotate it out okay press three and then over here i'm gonna add in some more extrude loops all right so insert s loop over here in this section just like this and over here in this section as well over here in this section as well and over here in this section as well and press three and that there you go that's my photo frame right there so that's how you create a photo frame a quick photo frame and use textures as your use photos as your texture so this is a this was a very quick texturing tutorial so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe